The next statistical tool that can be used to check for hypotheses is the dependent sample t-test or paired sample t-test. This test is useful to compare or to test hypotheses about two dependent groups. This is applicable for parametric tests that can be used to analyze data involving two groups. This compares the mean scores of one group in different measurements. It is called paired t-test because measurement from one group is paired with the measurement of the other group. So for a hypothesis statements, the null hypothesis will give us an idea that the two groups are equal. Therefore, research hypotheses can be stated as there is no significant difference in the two dependent groups. For the alternative hypothesis, you will have an assumption that the two groups are not equal. Therefore, the research hypothesis can be stated as there is significant difference in the two dependent groups. For decision rule, we will reject null hypothesis if the p-value is 0, 0.05 or less. We will also accept the null hypothesis if our p-value is greater than 0 0.05. To further understand the sample t-test or the pair t-test, let us have this study. The officers of the Philippine Pharmacists Association Incorporated conducted a research training to selected research professors. The objective is to increase the research competence of the research professor. So an adapted questionnaire was used to measure the competence of the research professors before and after the training. So for this type of study, we will have two types of, two types of variable. The independent variable, which is before training and after training. And the dependent variable is the level of research competence of the research professors. With that research study, statement of the problems can be drafted this way. So what is the level of research competence of the research professor before the training? And the second one is after the training. These two research questions can be processed using descriptive statistics. We will compute the mean and the standard deviation. Now for the third one, to check or to test our hypothesis, it can be stated in our statement of the problem this way. Is there a significant difference in the level of research competence of the research professor before and after the training? With that statement, you will compare and test if there is significant difference. Therefore, it's inferential analysis. You will need inferential statistics. So what we will use for this time is t-test for dependent sample or paired t-test. So our statistical software such as SPSS and JAS will give us this table that presents the result. For, for the paired sample t-test in the first table, We'll check the p-value if it's less than 0 0.05. That means our comparison has the comparison of the two dependent groups has significant difference. So it has less than 0 0.01 as presented in our value here. Therefore, before the training, the research competence of our professors is significantly different from the research competence with or after the research training. For assumption checks or test of, of normality of data, again if it's higher than 0 0.05 or p-value, it means the distribution of the data set is normal. Now in presenting our data, we will present it showing the number of samples before and after, the mean standard deviation that you have generated using descriptive statistics, the difference between the before and after, 
which give us 1.093. Therefore, there is an increase in the level of competence from 19.700 to 20.793 when T computed and your DF. Now, this table shows up shows us that the competence of the research professors before and after actually increased. That made us that made our inferential analysis convincing that the p-value less than 0 0.05 or the, the value which was generated was less than 0 0.001 showed that there is significant difference between the before training and after training so the difference is positive therefore it actually means increase in research competence This tool, Analysis of Variance, is another tool useful to test hypotheses. This is very common in researches. One-way ANOVA is the parametric test that can be used to test if the means of the independent groups are equal or identical. It uses both means and standard deviations. The difference between Analysis of Variance and t-test is the number of groups being compared in the independent variable. For t-test, we only have two independent groups, and for analysis of variance, it needs to have three independent groups or more. So for the statement of our hypothesis, for null hypothesis, we assume that all groups are equal. So we will state it in our research hypothesis as there is no significant difference in the different groups. For, for alternative hypothesis, we will assume that all groups or all the means are not equal. So we will state it in our research hypothesis as there is a significant difference between different groups. So we will have to meet all these assumptions in order to use ANOVA. So the normality should be present, equality of variance, independence of observation, there's no outliers, and there should be random sampling, and there will be independent variable, independent variable. To help us understand more ANOVA, here is a study conducted among healthcare providers, pharmacists, nurses, and physicians at a specific hospital in the city on their attitude towards ADR. An adapted 5-point Likert scale questionnaire was used to measure their attitude. The conceptual paradigm for that will be presented this way. The independent variable consists of three groups, the nurse, the physician, and the pharmacist, and the dependent variable will be their attitude towards ADR reporting. The statement of the problem or research question that can be generated from that research topic will be the following. So the first three will talk about the level of attitude of every independent group. First, the pharmacist, the nurse, and the physician on their attitude in adverse drug re reaction reporting. These first three SOPs will be processed using descriptive statistics mean and standard deviation for the fourth statistical for the fourth statement of problem it is a comparison of the significant difference in the level of attitude among healthcare practitioners on ADR reporting it is processed or it can be processed using inferential statistics most specifically one way anova because of the three independent groups being compared, the pharmacist, the nurse, and the physician. These tables are generated from statistical softwares. The first table will show us the ANOVA on ADR reporting with a p-value of less than 0 0.001. As mentioned in a decision ruling, if it's less than 0.05, it means that the, the, the groups that were being observed 
or compared has significant difference. So here, the nurse, the pharmacist, and the physician has differences in their level of attitude towards ADR reporting. With the descriptive statistics presented in the second table showing the mean and the standard deviation and the number of samples of our respondents. So this second table will help us know which has higher mean. So the pharmacist has 3.068 followed by the physician 2.083 and the nurse which is just 1.946. In ANOVA, if the result shows significant difference, therefore you have to look for what group made the significant difference. Is it between the nurse and the pharmacist? or the nurse and the physician, or between the pharmacist and the physician. So that can be found out using the next test, which is the post hoc test. The post hoc test will help us identify which group showed significant difference. And based on the p-value, the results which has less than 0.05 is between the nurse and the pharmacist and the pharmacist and the physician. Therefore, therefore, their level of attitude is quite different. For the nurse and pharmacist, the difference is negative, meaning to say the nurse has lower attitude compared to the attitude of the pharmacist. Between nurse and physician, there's no significant difference. Well, pharmacist and physician has significant difference and the letter T there has no negative sign meaning to say pharmacist has better attitude compared with the physician. Now this is how you will present the results or the data that was gathered from the SPSS. This table shows that the pharmacists have the huge level of attitude towards ADR reporting, followed by the physician, then the nurses. One way ANOVA confirmed that the difference in the level of attitude towards ADR reporting among the healthcare practitioner is significant in favor of the pharmacists. 